Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mosville USA here, back with another video. What you're looking at is a PS2 Slim with an internal 2TB M2 SSD installed along with the original disk drive. This project was an absolute doozy to complete. Sit back, grab a cup of tea, and I'll tell you all about it. The M2 PS2 project was released over a year ago by Saints Fall over on a German message board called circuitboard.de. These M2 PS2 boards are not a product that you can just go out and buy. Saints Fall has no interest in making and selling these as a kit. That being said, the Gerber files and bill of materials are all available to download in this thread. I will have it linked below. There are two versions of the M2 PS2 boards. One requires you to wire up the board manually, and the other has a custom flex cable to make the install cleaner and easier. PCBWay was nice enough to sponsor this video and went ahead and manufactured a couple M2 PS2 boards as well as flex cables for me in order to make this video. The Marvel IC is out of production. I opted to source those ICs on eBay and solder them on myself. The voltage regulator needs to have the middle pin cut before soldering as well. R17, R16, R15, and R14 do not need to be populated by default. These pads are here in the event that you destroy the resistors on the PS2 mainboard, which is surprisingly easy to do. If you already have these resistors populated, you can opt to just remove the resistors on the PS2 mainboard, which makes installing the flex cable much easier. Speaking of the flex cable, these flex cables are incredibly brittle and you will destroy the pads if you use too much heat. I found the sweet spot to be 225C. If you go any higher, you will likely destroy the pads on the flex cable. It is very important that you keep your iron as low as possible when installing this flex cable. The flex cable install is otherwise very straightforward. Put it in place and solder it on. For the cluster of three resistors, it's quite difficult to get a solid connection. I recommend using some magnet wire to make it easier. Other than the flex, all you need to do is wire up 3.3 volts and ground. The best option for 3.3 volts is the point that the Pixel Effects gem uses as it's nearby, or you can use the standard points for PS2 mod chips. Speaking of the Pixel Effects gem, I did a test fit and the M2 PS2 board fits perfectly along with the retro gem. It almost looks like the gem was designed to fit the M2 PS2 board as it's literally an exact fit. Now this project took me around 40 hours of troubleshooting. It did not detect SSDs at all when first installed. Thankfully Saints Fall helped me to diagnose the issue and it ended up being the PCB itself. I did not choose the following option in the bomb which appears to be mandatory. Make sure if you order some PCBs to make a note to request these impedance settings, otherwise these simply do not work. Now I ordered some replacement PCBs with the proper settings and used my hot plate to transfer over all of the components. The connector for the flex cable is a real pain to get perfect. I created this diagram here to help test continuity on the flex connector. I had a couple cold joints that needed to be touched up. Once I got a beep on every point, I installed the M2 PS2 board into my slim and voila! My 2TB was immediately detected. Since the slim has a DMS4 Pro installed, I can boot straight up to Toxic OS directly from the mod chip. 
I have access to my 2 terabyte library of PS2 games without a memory card, USB driver, anything external plugged in. For the shell, I opted to install one of the AliExpress clear shells. They have their issues and usually require bypassing the disc tray sensors in order for the PS2 to spin up discs. I tried designing a little stencil for help with cutting the shell. Thankfully with the clear shell, it's pretty easy to see what needs to be cut and trace around it. With the M2 stencil, cutting a clean hole with the Dremel was easy. Space in the shell needs to be made for the M2 SSD. The top shell will not fit without cutting the shell. But once the hole is cut, the SSD can be accessed without taking the console apart and discs can spin freely without clipping the internal SSD. Now, this mod will only work on V12 or V13 PS2 slims as these slims still have the IDE circuitry. Any later revision slim cannot be used with this mod. There are many other flavors of this mod out there. Gus sells the IDE Resurrector Flex Cables, which work with the IDE to SD card boards. The 128GB limitation on those IDE to SD boards is a major drawback, though unfortunately. Rumor has it that the SD card boards used for iPod upgrades can be installed in a PS2 Slim to bypass the 128GB limitation, something I'll be interested in trying in the future. Personally, I think the M2 PS2 board is currently the best IDE mod for the PS2 Slim. It requires M2 SATA SSDs which you can get very cheaply currently. If you don't mind having to cut your shell, I think this is the way to go. Being able to have 2 terabytes of storage on a PS2 Slim internally is pretty damn amazing. The speeds with M2 SATA are great. Now an SSD may be overkill, but the whole point is for the small form factor on these M2 SATA SSDs. Speeds are a definite bonus. Personally, I'm mostly interested in the fact that it can fit internally and doesn't have the same size limitations as IDE to SD cards do. Saints Fall did an amazing job on this project and it's certainly something to consider doing if you're willing to put in a bit of elbow grease. A PS2 Slim with internal 2TB and functional disk drive is something I've wanted for many years now. I'm happy to say I finally have one in my collection. If you pair one of these with a decent mod chip and a pixel effects gem, you've got yourself the ultimate PS2 Slim. Anyways guys, that's the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this project, it would be greatly appreciated put a ton of hours into this one and could really use a blessing in the algorithm. Either way, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more wild mods here on Modsville, USA.